Ray, and I work at the College Street branch of Lister Hill. This is my little girl, Leanna. Uh, she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia at age six, um, which was in May of 2010. The first day of St. Jude was extremely hard for us. Um, we didn't know what was about to take place. We're, we were trying to get used to the fact that um, our little girl had been diagnosed with cancer. That was the hardest news ever for a parent to hear. Um, when we went in, the what I thought was going to be a very depressing place was nothing like that. Um, St. Jude is one of the happiest places I've ever been. Um, all these kids in the worst possible time of their life, those kids are, are laughing and smiling and just enjoying life itself. No kids have hair. They're all bald and they're the happiest kids I've ever seen. That is attributed to St. Jude. They make sure that the kids there enjoy life and that they're not dwelling on the diagnosis. Uh, when we first got there, one of the first things they did was make sure that we, you know, had housing units. They've got three different housing units that they they have there um, that they house their patients and their families in free of charge. For us, it was almost four months before we could come home at all. That's what St. Jude is all about. They will not ever deny a child treatment or care. That's one of the first things they actually told us that day is that they would never bill us for any of her care. It's all done through donations from, from everybody. And that's why it's so important to give to St. Jude is because children can get the best possible care ever and and it's not going to put the family in a financial hardship and and they take extremely good care of their of their families and there's just no place like it